Hello Libra, welcome to another energy reading. If you are new here, I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Let's get right into this reading. I'm ready to jump right in. What messages do we have for Libra? Thank you, thank you, thank you. What messages do we have for Libra? The part foretells a new love when near. All right, um very near all right what else a new love story something's going to be a walk in the park something is a walk in the park all right all right you got a married man move on while wow, somebody needs to move on from a married man that's specific all right <laughs> you got a deeper commitment and not my peeps hmm be mindful not to make a deeper commitment with a person that you don't even like if you listen to your higher self. Some of you guys are making deeper commitments with people and groups that you don't even want to be around. They are very spiritual. There's someone that's very, very spiritual around you, all right? Somebody also have very bad, ugly energy, and they want to commit to you. Hmm. Be mindful of this. This is giving weird, Libra. It's giving that someone could be an illusion. Head stuck in the clouds here. All right, let's see. A wealthy man. All right, let's see what we have here. I knew this was going to come out. A false person. This person is false. This is not your person. All right, let's see. <clears throat> All right, tell me more about the park for Libra. All right, so you're confused about a new love. All right, so there is some type of intense feelings. So you're confused about a new love, but I'm getting that there is, you could have closed some type of door or closed some type of chapter. There is some, you're confused about closing a door on something because you have all of these feelings. And you're like, okay, if I'm supposed to close it, why do I have all of these emotions with this Queen of Cups coming up? All right. You have the King of Pentacles here. Um, so you open the door back up. All right. You open something back up. You make a bold move. But you feel like you're left out in the cold again. All right. So let's see what's going on. Tell me more about this married man and move on all right um you have the hermit here it's giving your wise energy is telling you that you should move on um that's what your intuition is saying however you could be listening to friends you're talking to friends there's some people around you that's influencing these church choices all right and how right now it's because you're not in your right mind you got the, I did, didn't I say it looks like some somebody's in an illusion? You're not in your right mind and you're listening to these other people who aren't in their right mind. So your wisdom sounds like crazy talk. Because you're choosing to listen to your friends, all right? And not yourself, not, not, not your intuition. What's crossing this is the eight of pentacles, all right? You're kind of dedicated to figure out something. You're dedicated to know. All right, you're, you're trying to figure out if 
this person is willing to love or if this person is going to be ready to love in this next phase or in this new phase could you guys have a new beginning because something work out in your fa favor could things change between you you really want to figure something out it looks like spirit has gave you the evidence but you're like no give me another sign all right tell me more about they are very spiritual okay all right, so you feel like, all right, so you have your Queen of Swords energy with the King of Cups. You feel like you can feel what it is that they're feeling. You do possess star energy. You are very, very intuitive, and you feel like you can feel what it is that you're feeling, okay? Also, this could be some type of person that you have some type of chemistry with. And for some of you guys, you could be projecting your own strong feelings on this person. It goes back to the point of how do you know? It's because you're feeling some type of way and you feel like you couldn't possibly be feeling a type of way by yourself. Um, what is crossing this? Also, um, there could be some communication between the two of you. All right. Um, but... This is given like high and dry. It's like it picks you up, you're so in love, and then you're disappointed. Then it picks you up, you're so in love, and then you're disappointed. And you're like, every time you get disappointed, you be like, but I want to know if this person loves me, or I want to know. And you go, and then you, you're disappointed. It looks like somebody has a, a really, really big mask on. All right, tell me more about Wealthy Man. There is a person that's with a coin. Somebody does have a coin. Somebody is very, very wealthy. All right. It looks like spirit is trying to show you, show you them or trying to present themselves to you or trying to present them to you. Um, but it looks like you're stuck on a past situation. All right. So there's someone who could be quite valuable in your life and spirit is trying to blow the horns, blow the, like spirit is giving you sign after sign after sign after sign. And you're still like, um, in this old type of energy. All right, what's crossing this? There's a need for some type of new. There's also a lot of passion. Could be a lot of sexual chemistry between you and this person. All right, so for some of you guys, that's probably why you can't see this, this flag or this sign or something like that. That's going on. What else do we have for Libra? All right, we have the anchor. This is successful ventures in business and in love, okay? All right. All right, oh, we got 444. I am money. All right, and you have baby, let this go. I'm going to do this um, separately. Somebody's blushing all the time. Somebody also has a lack of intimacy. But then somebody, on the other hand, is kind of like, it's two different energies here. If somebody is blushing all the time, they feel connected, they feel supported, they never, they don't feel alone, then there's a person who does feel alone. your mouth less details please less details um there could be an argument brewing about something the more details that you get give could brew, could make an argument come i feel like close your mouth because you are ready to receive what spirit has for you that's the first sign that you're ready to receive to man um you're, you're ready to manifest it's because it's when you're not um, so eager to tell everybody what you're about to manifest or what the abundance is or whatever it is. You are so like in the energy of receiving and getting yourself ready for it that you're not about to disclose any details on it. You're not in a braggadocious spirit. All right. There's a mature man that's looking at you that has a gift. Could be a child. <laughs> it 
could be a gift for a child. All right, tell me more about the anchor. There's a love offer or a love, love uh, offer that presents itself. Something that's going to give you some type of leveling up. There's something that takes you to the next level. Um, and it's because of some type of hard work or dedication. Like something that's leveling you up to the next level. Because how long you've been somewhere or how much dedication you've been somewhere. Or how much consistency or something like that. Or based off of some type of loyalty, integrity. All right. You have the hangman in the reverse. All right. So this is you kind of moving along. You're definitely going to um, put some movement, put some foot down, put your foot down on something. Um, stand up for something. Um, you're not just hanging there. It looks like you're going to take this. Whatever you were confused, you could have been confused thinking about something, but now you're about to accept some type of offer. Okay. Tell me more about 444 I am money. All right. Okay, so after some type of struggle or a lot of hard work, you get this victory here. And this puts you in heart. Your hard work and dedication pays off. So that's basically that same thing coming into you. get some type of major victory here. You have the Queen of Cups. This makes you very, very happy or excited. Or this comes from something that you birthed or something that you manifested. Like you really manifested something and something was a lot of hard work or it, it was it took a lot out of you to try to get this but you do get it okay um there there's a need for you to celebrate yourself yeah something something caused a lot or something you had to pay a big price or something like that there was a, a price to pay All right, tell me more about baby, let this go. All right, there's a need for you to let some type of tower, some type of change. This could have been a unfortunate change, an unfortunate truth or something like that. Yeah, there was some type of lie or something that comes out. All right, this is a painful truth. There's a need for you to let something go. You have the, something is sabotaging you. All right. What's crossing this is this Empress energy. So something could be sabotaging you, but it's also growing you. If only you would learn how to let something go. Also, something could be sabotaging some type of blessings here. Be mindful of how you speak. Yeah, it's sabotaging some type of manifestations because it's taking your, your um, tongue. And now you're speaking crazy. Now you're talking all crazy. So be mindful of um, these new beginnings that you are trying to birth, okay? Um, and how you're speaking about them. All right, tell me more about uh, close your mouth, less details. Maybe you don't need to say anything at all. All right, all right, Spirit is telling you something. Um, there's a gift that's coming right to you from Spirit. Close your mouth, do not speak on this. Just move, just take a leap of faith, just go into bold action. Something is not for you to go ahead into detail or... Um, dialect with there's a need for you to take this new idea and run with it all right um literally run with it with the knight of wands run fast with it okay there's going to be a celebration um from this new idea but do not tell anybody about it all right tell me more about mature man all right there's a mature man that's looking at you with love all right, they want to start a new beginning with you. Yeah, they want to start something new with you. They want to have a new life with you. Y'all could have had some type of past before. They just want to start something new with you. You make them feel very, very passionate. Yeah, you are like the apple of their eye. You got their attention. Now it's no going back. This person is about to say something wild. Like they would never say. Like they're about to say something to you. Do something um, come right towards you with some type of action. It's real, real, real unexpected, but they want to start a new beginning with you. They, they really, really want to build, plant something new with you. This process, this person could also want to have a child, um, with you. All right.
you got the key, all right? It's near by a certain augury of success. Augury of success, all right? A certainty of success. The key, you got the key to success. First class, keep a positive mind. And we have 10, 10 coming out the deck. You got divine timing and on the right path, all right? So something has happened to you, divine timing on the right path. Um, you got 10, 10, this is completion and celebration coming towards you. All good energy, all right? So you got, is it... It's envy or jealousy and more money coming through, but you have protection, 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 protection coming towards you. All right, you got privileged lady. Wow. And a thief, official person. Now somebody's going to be these colors, these true colors that's coming out. It's all crazy. All right, tell me more about the key for Libra. The key to success. All right, you got the chariot. All right, so your hard work and determination gives you the key to success. And it's this big, big victory here. All right, so you make take this leap of faith and there's a huge change. I feel like this key to success, you go into a place that you're going to have to get used to. Your whole world changes. That's what this tower card is here representing. This huge breakdown, this major breaking of a paradigm, this paradigm shift based off of you actually having your chariot moment. You actually get in this major victory. All right, coming towards you. What is crossing this? We have the king of, Pen the king of wands. Keep your eye on the prize, all right? Keep your eye on the prize and listen to your inner wisdom. Your inner wisdom is going to literally take you to this chariot energy. It's going to literally guide you, all right? So your inner compass is very, very key. Um, yeah, stay committed to your dreams. Also, there is drama that's pushing in a new beginning. So there's a new beginning. There may be chaos surrounding this. All right. Tell me more about first class, a positive mind, and 10-10. Hmm. Got the nine of swords here. Okay. There is some fear about if you're going to, if you're working with somebody, there is some type of fear. If, you know, you're going to receive a return on your investment, if it's going to be equal put in. Yeah, because you're used to doing all things by yourself. Um, a lot of things by yourself, you're used to putting all the work on you. So that's what you kind of fear enough, like how much work. Is it going to fall all on you or, or is it going to be equal? Um, it looks like something is definitely going to be equal and very, very fair. Um, there's a need for you to kind of like get out of your mind of, of some type of past of how of how something worked out in the past. These new relationships aren't working out that way. All right. Tell me more about um, is it je is it envy or jealousy? Hmm. Usually a path. Which one? All right, so it's it's given that this could be some type of childhood something or some old type of energy, something that happened in the past. You can still be pondering on it. Um, there's a need for you to regain your power back. What's the energy of this card? All right, yeah, so there's some type of Page of Swords, this is some old type of gossip or old old lies or something. The Page of Swords here. Something that broke your heart. 
Um, this is some, this is a tactic used to kind of like control you in a sense. And a tactic is kind of like spreading lies or starting some type of rumors or something like that. Um, it's also getting someone to look at you different or more, more so getting you to look at you different. Um, be mindful of that energy. There's something that you need to play smart. Yeah, there's something that you need to like go into your intuition with and play with some type of inner wisdom. Okay. All right, tell me more about Privileged Lady. Tell me more about Privileged Lady. Okay. Fall all over the place. All right, yeah. Hmm. have a couple things happening here. All right, so there is a celebration. All right, there is hard work and determination that leads you to success. You making some active moves or some actions, disciplined action that leads you to some type of success or celebration. This does bring some type of chaos, but um, this is bringing in the new beginning. So the chaos is not like rumbling drama. This could just be like the rumbling shaking of the new beginning coming in. It also could be drama. We did see gossip and all that stuff all around. So be mindful of that. Um, this, yeah, a new beginning is coming in the seven of pentacles. This is the, the ground shaking because of the sprouting. Also, um, this is telling me somebody is, is mending their heart or forgiving putting an end to suffering, overcoming something that hurt them, something like that, moving on, um, moving on to clarity, um, getting back to work again, working on themselves again, dedicated to something um, themselves again after hurting, okay? Putting them, their heart back out there, opening their heart again, something like that that's happening, okay? So that is your message. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.